Hi guys, it's Pantrelay, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be predicting the Week 8 games and telling you guys who I think will win each game during this video, and I did want to let you guys know that this video is being filmed on Wednesday, the day before the Thursday night football game, which we'll get to in a second. And before we do get into Thursday night football and the rest of the predictions for Week 8, I just want to let you guys know if you're not subscribed, subscribe would really mean a lot to me. I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers by the end of 2020. And also go follow me on Instagram because I put trade updates and other things about the NFL, NHL, NBA, and MLB that I don't put up over here because it would be too many videos for me to make. So just go follow me down below if you want to be updated with all the sports news. And let's get into Thursday Night Football. So on Thursday Night Football, we have the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers in Charlotte, North Carolina at 8.20 p.m. So I think this is going to be a better matchup than last week's Thursday Night. Because last week, the Eagles and Giants, I just don't think it's really a great matchup. There still could be a little bit better matchup, because even though the Panthers are my favorite team, when they're playing the Falcons on Thursday Night Football, I really just don't think that's the most exciting matchup for a national televised game for most people. But for me, it obviously will be, since I'm a Panthers fan. I do think the Panthers are going to win this and just blow out the Falcons. Falcons had another choking game. Todd Gurley tried to stop before the end zone. Lions player say he's in, and he is in. And then the line drive down the field, last play of the game, get a touchdown about 11 yards out. So, typical Falcons fashion. Falcons up by six and choke the touchdown. Lose the game by one to the Detroit Lions last week and take another L on the season. Typical Falcons fashion. And I think if they do get to a lead against the Panthers, they'll do the same thing here. So I do think the Panthers win this game and sweep the season series against the Atlanta Falcons this year. Let's get into the Sunday 1 o'clock games. On Sunday at 1 o'clock, we have the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers playing in Green Bay. So a little bit of an NFC North matchup here. I think this is going to be a better game than what the records show. But I do think the Packers still get a big win here. But I do think the Vikings keep it somewhat close because I think their offense will be able to do pretty well against this Packers defense. I just like the matchup here. But I do think the Packers get the edge with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. Leads this team to another victory. Packers move out and get another win. Vikings drop another game on this looks like lost season. Next, we have the Titans taking on the Bengals in Cincinnati. So I think the Titans are going to come in here and get an easy win because last week the Titans did make their first loss against the Steelers only by three and they tried to come back. They were really close to completing the comeback but could not quite. But I do think the Steelers are just a very good team so it would have been hard for them to win that game. But I think Cincinnati's not quite as good so I am going to pick the Titans to win this game. I think the Tennessee Titans win this game. Let's get into the next Sunday 1 o'clock game. Next, we have the New York Jets traveling to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. In this one, I just don't think the Jets really have a chance. I do like how they played against the Bills last week, but I, I just don't think they really have a chance here against the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs offense is just going to have a field day against the Jets because I just don't think they're going to be able to slow them down. Chiefs defense, I think, will also have a field day. I get a few interceptions off Sam Darnold. I just don't think this is going to be a good game for the Jets on any side of the ball. But we'll see. Maybe they come out and surprise me in Kansas City. And the Chiefs kind of take them lightly since they're one of the worst teams in the NFL, if not the worst team right now. Only team on the year still with no win. Maybe the Chiefs underprepare for this game and then get lost. Maybe the Chiefs underprepare for this game and then take a loss. But I highly doubt that happens. So I think the Chiefs come out here and get a huge win at home. Jets lose another game and get closer to getting that number one overall pick in the NFL draft. But we'll have to see. Maybe it'll change and they'll start winning a ton of games and then they don't get the number one pick. Right now, they're on pace to easily get the number one pick in the draft. See if that continues. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Colts taking on the Lions in Detroit. So I think this is going to be a closer matchup than what most people think. But I do think the Colts come out on top here. Detroit coming back last week against the Falcons. Had about a minute left on their final drive of the game. Drive down 75 yards down the field and get a touchdown. Great job by Matthew Stafford and that Detroit offense. And I don't think they get another win here. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do beat the Colts. But I don't see them being the Colts. So I picked the Colts to win this game. And also, I know I normally mention this at the beginning of the video. But I just didn't remember until now. now so I'm just going to say it now. But the, the Arizona Cardinals, Washington football team, Jacksonville Jaguars, and Houston Texans are all on bye weeks this week. I just wanted to say that now since I forgot to say that earlier. And I just realized... So I was still wanted to let you guys know who was on the bye. So we only have 14 games this week because of those 14 being off. Let's continue with the rest of the video. Next we have, I feel like this is the matchup of the week. The Ravens taking on the Steelers in Baltimore. I think this is going to be a great game. But I do think the Steelers will come out on top. Because I think they'll be able to stop 
that Lamar Jackson led Ravens offense and the offense isn't going to be able to do anything. And I do like the Ravens defense a lot as well. But I just think the Steelers offense is going to produce a little bit more because once you stop Lamar Jackson and make him pass, I just don't think he's really as good of a player. Not that he's bad when he has to pass. I just think if you take away his run game completely, which I think the Steelers can do, it's just not going to be very fun for Lamar. And I don't think he's really good if he's forced to be a pocket passer. So I do think if they're successfully able to do that, the Steelers, they get the win in this game. And I do believe that will happen. So Steelers stay undefeated and Ravens take another loss. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Rams taking on the Dolphins. Tua making his NFL starting debut since he did play against the Jets in week six because week seven was the Dolphins bye week. At the end of the game, just getting a little bit of time on the field, just getting used to it. But now he's going to be making his starting debut. He is going to be having to deal with Aaron Donald. Probably going to get a lot of pressure on him because the Dolphins offensive line is not the greatest. But I do think they'll just double team him, try to keep him contained. They'll probably get some pressure still on him because th that D-line overall is a very good D-line in front seven. But I do think Tua will just do a lot of short throws because it is his first game night starting. So I don't think he's going to go crazy and start throwing it down the field. And I also feel like Brian Flores will also call a lot of short plays and a lot of runs so that Tua doesn't feel pressured in his first game against the Rams. But I do think the Rams do come out here and get the win. But I do think Tua has a great first start. Let's get into the next game. And that game was in Miami. Next, we have an AFC East matchup, the Patriots and the Bills. I think the Bills easily win this game, even though they only beat the Jets by a bit last week. Because I don't like how the Patriots are playing last week. Cam Newton had a horrible week. 49ers destroyed the Pats last week in New England. So I think this game in Buffalo is an easy win for the Bills. Patriots drop another game, and the Patriots just aren't able to do anything without Brady and Gronk, it seems like. But maybe that changes once. Maybe they start Stidham and that changes this week or they get their quarterback of the future in this upcoming draft. We'll have to see, but it's not looking like it's going to be very well without Tom Brady there in New England. Let's get into the next game. Next, we have the Raiders taking on the Browns. So I think this is going to be a good matchup in Cleveland, but I am going to pick the Browns to win this matchup because I like the Browns a little bit more here, but I could see the Raiders coming in winning here by having a great offensive showing, defense holding up a bit, the Browns offense just not being able to do anything. But I just don't like the odds of that happening. I think the odds of the Browns getting a win here is a little bit better. So I am going to pick the Browns to win this game. Let's, let's get into the next 4 o'clock game. First, we have the Chargers and the Broncos in Denver. So I think this is going to be a Chargers win. because I like how Herbert played in that first win. I guess I get it was against the Jaguars, but I do like how he played. Broncos coming off an embarrassing loss to the Chiefs at home in the snow. So I do think the Chargers get a win. And I think Justin Herbert has another great game for this Los Angeles Chargers team. And is the future quarterback of this team if he continues playing like he is now. And continues that the next few seasons. So I do believe Herbert is the future QB. And Chargers get a win. Let's get into the next game. Next at 425, we have the Saints taking on the Bears in Chicago. So Chicago Bears coming off that loss on Monday Night Football to the Rams. I think the Bears do have a great defense showing here against the Saints. Be very low scoring, I think, this game. But I just don't think it's going to be enough to get over the hump and beat the Saints because I don't think their offense is going to do anything. So I do pick the Saints to win this game, but I think it will be a very low scoring game. Saints win here on the road. Let's get into the next game. Next at 425, we have an NFC West matchup. This is a very important game for the 49ers. It's Seahawks 49ers in Seattle. And I think this is a very important matchup for the 49ers. So if they get a win here, Seattle goes on a two-game losing streak. And the 49ers are right back in this division race for the division with the Rams, Seahawks, Cardinals. Pretty much all the teams right now are trying to get in that division race. So I think a huge win here by San Francisco would be great for them. And I think Seahawks would drop out of first in the NFC West because I feel like one of the other teams would be able to get up to first place if the Seahawks do lose to the 49ers. So I am going to pick the Seahawks to win this game, but I do think the 49ers have a really good chance, but I just like Russell Wilson, and I don't think he loses another game again back-to-back -back weeks. So I picked the Seahawks to win at home, but I wouldn't be surprised if the 49ers won. But let's get into Sunday Night Football. So on Sunday Night Football, we have an NFC East matchup of the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. So Eagles on primetime back-to-back weeks. Thursday night last week and now Sunday night this week. And I am going to pick the Eagles to win this game, but I could see the Cowboys winning because neither of these teams are really playing that well this season. But I just don't like the Cowboys' chances 
with going having to probably go down to a third string with Andy Dalton's looking like he's not going to be able to play. But he might be able to. We'll have to see once it gets a little bit closer. But as of now, it looks like they're going to have their third string play, and I don't like their chances with a third string quarterback because he's a rookie quarterback, and he wasn't that high up in the draft. So I do think the Eagles get a win here at home in Philadelphia on Sunday Night Football. Let's get into Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football, we have the Buccaneers taking on the Giants in New York. So I'm going to pick the Buccaneers to win this game because I just don't like how the Giants are really playing this season. And I just like how the Buccaneers are playing right now. Very good. And I think that continues here against the Giants and they get a huge win. And Giants drop another game. Still only that one win on the year. And Buccaneers win. Thank you guys for watching this video, and before I do close out this video, I just wanted to let you guys know, I know this is a little bit shorter of a video, but that's just how it ended up coming out, being filmed once it was done, and thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, links in the description, and if any schedule changes do end up happening after the filming of this video, I will let you know in the pinned comment down below, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.